Hey guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making easy red velvet cupcakes. This is a one bowl recipe, so they come together really quick and they are delicious. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna jump right on in by adding our sugar to a large bowl, followed by some vegetable oil. We're gonna mix this just until it is all combined and stuff like this right here. It looks perfect. Then we're gonna throw in two eggs, make sure they're room temperature, and we're gonna mix that just until everything is uniform in color. Okay, make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl really good. We want everything mixed in. Okay, now it's time for our buttermilk, red food coloring, and vanilla extract. Go ahead and toss in that buttermilk, that warm buttermilk, right into the batter. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla extract followed by that red food coloring. I used just a bottle, just squirt it right on in there. And now we're just gonna mix it up, okay? Get everything combined, scrape down the sides of the bowl. You know the drill, honey. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of hot water. This is so similar to my other recipe, but a little different. We're gonna throw in some distilled vinegar right there. And then we're just gonna mix it all up just like this right here. I really love that it's a one bowl recipe because y'all know I like washing dishes. I don't like fooling with dishes, so this is perfect. So now it's time for our dry ingredients. I'm gonna add in my all-purpose flour, toss it right into the batter. And now I have mixed up some salt, baking powder, and baking soda. I'm gonna sprinkle this all throughout, okay? That'll help you get it mixed in. And then my unsweetened cocoa powder goes in there, and now you just mix it all up, okay? That's pretty much it after this part. Just mix it up. Make sure that it is well combined. Y'all know I like saying that word. Make sure it's well combined. But you don't wanna over mix it, so don't go crazy with it. Just mix it up until it's combined, you know? Okay, that is perfect. Just like this beautiful red batter. And then go ahead and get your muffin pan lined up with some cupcake liners. And we're gonna fill these up with about a fourth cup of batter. Do not overfill these things. They will take forever to get done and they'll sink and they will be a mess, okay? So just a fourth cup is good. We're gonna bake it at 325 for about 18 to 20 minutes. You may need a little bit longer, okay? So watch it like a hawk. Once they're done, let it sit in the pan for about five minutes and then you can go ahead and remove them to a cooling rack and let them cool off. So rather than cooling off, we're gonna make a really easy cream cheese frosting. We have some soft cream cheese here. We're gonna throw in some butter, okay? I'm gonna mix that until it's all creamy, just like this. And then we're gonna throw in my powdered sugar. And that is it. This is a three ingredient frosting recipe. So easy, so simple, no vanilla extracts, no milk. I just wanted like a sweetened cream cheese. That's it, nothing too, you know, complicated. All right, so once that is all mixed in, you are ready to go. Go ahead and add this to like a piping bag. It makes it a lot easier to frost. I went ahead and added mine to the piping bag. And then just pipe it onto your little cute cupcakes like this. Oh, I love a piping bag, honey. It makes frosting cupcakes so much easier. And there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget, you can find it on my blog at dwiskincook.com with a ton of other recipes. So go on over there, check it out, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Okay, our garnish cheese with some pecans, and they are ready to go. Let's go ahead and peel back this wrapper mm, look at that you guys I want to show you just how soft and moist and tender these cupcakes are look at that what I have a recipe on my blog for red velvet cake but this is a little bit different and to me this recipe makes a much better red velvet cupcake I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and if you make it let me know how you like it thank you guys so much for watching bye